Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have a project share to show you. This is a custom order that is going out today and it is a Cinderella Little Golden Book Junk Journal. So I used this Cinderella Little Golden Book. I do have another one that I'm thinking about making one to put in my shop. That this one, I showed you a sneak peek probably about a week or two ago when I was making a tag for it. If you'd like to see that video, go ahead and check out the description box below. So I'm finally finished with this. Here is what it looks like. The back has this beautiful fabric that I had received from a friend. And, oops, sequin. So I used a bunch of different ribbons and lace and trims here to make a tassel and I had this fun little golden sli or slipper there that I glued on top. There's also a ribbon that says Cinderella Sleeping Beauty Snow White on it with the uh, slipper and the little princess crown on it. I added some lace and some sparkly glittery ribbon on the front and along the back as well. This is tied up with some of the same fabric and I'll go ahead and open it up here. So here's the front cover. I have a pocket that I sewed on and I distressed it and add some pom-pom trim, added some pom-pom trim. And I have a little, a couple Monopoly dollars and a receipt there. And then here is the second pocket. I made this little journaling card tag here. This is from a vintage storybook it's Cinderella. And then I just added graph paper on the back for journaling. and slips into that little pocket here. I have done sewing throughout as per usual on my books. I made lots of pockets. Here's a pocket there. This really cool image of Cinderella. I included all of the pages of the original book in here. This is Kool-Aid stained doily. I will link the paper, this is a digital paper, Cinderella paper, and I purchased it on Etsy, so I will put the link for that down below if you're interested in that. I also have, as well, along with the original book, I also had some other Cinderella books, vintage Cinderella books, so there are book pages in there, and I believe this is one of them. This was the tag that I made. So if you'd like to see how I did that, I did a little craft with me video. There's tea stained, coffee stained paper in here. There's another pocket with a bingo card. This pretty glittery paper. Here's a vintage, uh, I believe this is a Sears catalog, but I thought it was cool. It had the carriage horse there. And more on the back. Kool-Aid stained paper. Here's a little mini pocket. I had some Cinderella paper in my stash. I found this vintage flashcard. It has the shoe, kind of like a little heel, like this slipper. Ledger paper. Here's a little flip open. This is a Another one of the Cinderella vintage storybook pages. Here's a fun little Cinderella card. Some lace along the edge there. Here's some fun embroidered trim that I made a little belly band there. This is a one of the pictures that's from that vintage Cinderella or you know it's like it was a Cinderella it was a storybook that had Cinderella in it it had several different stories in it 
obviously not the Disney version. <laughs> I sewed up a little ruffle here on the side. Here's another pocket. Love this embroidered trim there. I made a belly band with that. This is a little side pocket. Here's another bookmark that I made. I have Cinderella set of dies there that I cut out. It's the Cinderella and then here's the little slipper or heel there. I also have the whole set came with the mice as well as the pumpkin and the little clock. So I will be including some extra little goodie in her little goodie bag of those so then she can put them throughout the book if she'd like. Here's another Sears catalog with the carriage. I loved this digital pack that I ordered. It just had like a vintage feel to it and several of the pages had these really neat images on them. Here's another pocket. I attached a couple of these little tickets that had the crowns on them. I love this vintage card. It really has nothing to do with Cinderella, but the colors I thought went really well with it. This was another page from the different book. It was called The Ugly Stepsisters. Another really cool page that I had. It was a, I think it was like a lettering book. Here's a side flip. I just cut out part of a book page and sewed it on, distressed it, and made a little tab on the end there. Here is a bag, a little lunch sack with a pocket in there. This was, I love, this was really cool. So I printed that out. Pocket, here's the other side of that bag. This is an image from the, the vintage book. Here's an extra little Cinderella that I tucked in there. Another pocket, here's a little pocket there. Here is a Cinderella old coloring page. I only had one of those. I stuck that in there. I sewed it into the other side. Belly band there. And that's the last page of the book. And here's the inside of the back cover. So I used a glassine bag. I glued on this image of Cinderella with the castle behind it. And so that's a little pocket there. So and that is my book. I hope you like this. And I'm really hoping that my friend who ordered it loves it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Be looking out for sneak peeks. I'm almost done with four books, four more little junk journal, little golden books. They are kind of a boy theme, or they could be a girl theme, but there's the cars and trucks, cars, a firefighter book, and a machines book. So I believe I had shown these books when I had hauled them and I've done little sneak peeks here and there but I'm just about completed with four of the junk journals so probably on Monday I will be releasing those in my Etsy shop and I'll have a video for them so you can flip through. Follow me over on Instagram as well because I'll be 
throwing some pictures out on there too. So I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.